Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today I'm going to teach you all about snap points in Valheim. First we'll look at what they are, and then we'll look at how they're useful, because you can actually make your own snap points. A snap point is something that makes building much, much easier. This is what it looks like. You see how here it pops into place, and even if I look at different areas on the object, the wall still stays in the same spot. That is a snap point. If you want the game to not use snap points, then all you have to do is hold down shift. Notice that when I use shift, I can place the wall wherever I want to place it, right? But if I let go of shift, then the snap point will force the wall to be perfectly lined up. So I mentioned you could make snap points. How do you do that? Well, let's imagine that instead of a boring wall like this, you know, I mean, come on, that's so boring, walls next to each other, Ugh, lame. Let's say we wanted to make it look more interesting. Well, we would use a snap point to do this. And the best items to make snap points are these one meter wood poles that go up and down and the one meter wood poles that go from side to side. We're gonna use the one meter pole that goes up and down or the vertical pole. And placing it makes a snap point where the pole ends. So now we can take our wooden wall and look at that. It snaps right into place. But if we don't have that little piece there, then there's no snapping, see? It snaps up here and it snaps down there, but it doesn't snap into the middle. That's because there's no snap point. And it's really easy to make your own snap points. You just use these and then boom, look at that, snaps right into place. This is really useful for various building ideas because it allows you to easily make sort of a variation. As you can see, this looks sort of lame, but if I continue, well, look at this. I can't place it in the pattern. I have to make another snap point. So I'll put it right here and then I'll place my wall. Boom, snap point. Now I can get rid of the original snap point maker, right? And then we can just keep going. And now we have a more interesting wall. You know, look at this. Now, let's say you wanna start making some kind of roof or support. You can see that the snap points go into here, here, here. There's all these snap points. But what if I want a snap point right in the center there? Well, it's quite simple. All I need to do is place this one meter wood beam and then boom, there's a snap point in the center now. And once you've used a snap point, you can get rid of the objects that created it in the first place. This might seem simple, but it's actually really, really, really useful when you're making more advanced builds and it allows you to place things perfectly even if you're making them in different places. Because as you can imagine, if I had to just rely on holding shift and placing all of these, then it may look okay, but if I need to line these up perfectly for whatever reason, they're not just cosmetic, then there's gonna be some issues just because they're not gonna be perfectly the same. If we look at all these, for example, you see how this one in the middle, it's just like a little bit to the right, whereas the other two are more to the left. And that's the kind of problem that's gonna happen. And if you're building something really big, these little issues, they compile, they compound, and they become a big problem. If you find yourself holding down shift to place something without the snap point, consider just placing something to make a snap point where you need it. It's really, really useful, and it helps you build more advanced structures in Valheim. Now, the more astute among you may have noticed that when I placed these walls earlier, there is a little gap there. So when you place the walls normally, you're never gonna get that gap. That's just because they've been tested to make sure they clip a little bit into each other so you don't get a gap. But when you start using these sort of variations, you start noticing gaps. And everything I tried still resulted in a gap being here. See how this doesn't have a gap, but this does, see? And then this doesn't. But if I add one here, it will. The wall, and then make another wall. But look at that. We still have this see-through line. And you can see there's not two snap points. It's not like it's actually changed the 
replacement of the wool. However, that gap is still there. So when you use these kind of patterns, you're going to get these little gaps. You can fix the gaps just by filling them in with a beam just like this. So normally you'd do something like this. You'd make all these beams, right? And it's not really noticeable, and now there's no more gap. This is just going to happen when you have alternating patterns. Here's another trick, by the way. At any point, you can sit, and then that will lower the camera angle, and then you can look under something and place it. Another useful thing about snap points is using the other modes. So if you press E, it'll change, and now you can toggle by pressing E again, and you can go through the series, and then when you get to the end of it, it'll go back to auto-snapping. Auto-snapping is the default, and it's what you saw me using earlier. Auto-snapping is best when there's no objects clipping into everything. If you're integrating your build with objects that are in the environment, such as trees and that kind of thing, then it's easier to use this manual snapping. It forces the object to stay sort of more where you want it, see? And this makes it easier to build things exactly how you want them. Because you're not wrestling with the snap points as much. You can just keep going and then change it back to auto as soon as you finish that cluttered area. And check out my tutorial all about setting up your own dedicated Valheim server. This way, they can log on and play and build stuff while you're not playing. And this makes Valheim much more fun, because when you log on, you can see what your friends did. And I really like that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!